Okay. Relaunch level editor. Now in the level editor, you've got different types of different things that you can use for the level editor. Right here is a 2D view. Right here you've got the 3D view. And in, the, in this view, it shows all your textures for any type of any type of texture you want to use on your map, such as brick, and you got different textures you got for usage, you've got doors, floors, ceilings, trenches, backgrounds, the sky, liquids, stuff like that, and then there's all different types of surfaces like asphalt, ceramic, mud, sand, wood. So you got all those different types of textures and it's shown over here. Alright, so let's get started. Let's, uh, let's make ourselves a room, it's like a small room. Now what you do in order to create a face in Call of Duty 4's mod tools is you start in the 2D view, you click and you drag in the direction in which you want to create your face. So let's uh, make a fairly decent sized room, 512 by 512 should be okay. Easiest way to make a room is to simply make one square any size you want and then change the, the direction in which you're looking at your 2D view in order to change the direction you hit control tab to switch to the different side now from any of the, this side you can change the height of an object or you can change the length of an object depending on what you want to do so let's say we wanted about oh three hundred and four should be an alright height for what we want to do for right now. Just created a pretty good sized room. Easiest way to create a room, in my opinion, some people may, you know, disagree, but I find the easiest way to make a room is to use the hollow tool. Basically, you've got yourself a box right here, and then all you need to do is hollow it out. The easiest way to do that is to have it selected. In order to select an object, you can either select it in the 2D view by hitting by holding down shift and left clicking on the object or you can go into the 3D view by doing the same shift and left click in order to deselect an object you hit escape if you wanted to copy your object you hit spacebar and copy it over it creates the exact same object but for right now we just want one room make it nice and simple so, we want to hollow this guy out. So you have it selected, you can only have one object selected when you hollow. So it kind of makes it, you know, a little inconvenient there if you need to create more than one room. But hit the hollow key and look at that, you've already got yourself a nice size room going on the inside of this. And you can move around in the 3D view by using the right click on your mouse to move forward and back and to turn left and right. If you hold down control and right click you can go up and down, side to side. If you want to just move the head and keep the camera stationary and look around, you hit, you hold down Shift, Control, and right click to move the head around to just kind of look in the room like if you were actually standing inside there. 